Hello everyone, Cleanser here. Today I'll be showing you a common orc build order. It's called a Tarn Chieftain Headhunter Bloodless build, but it is usually abbreviated as TCHHBL or something similar. In the description is a timestamp to skip right to the build if you don't want any general info about it. With that out of the way, let's go over the strengths and weaknesses of the build. This build sacrifices the damage capabilities of Blade Master because of the hero choice. This could be offset by the amount of focus damage that the headhunters can produce. While you can't easily snipe enemies that are running away, you can lock down a few kills with Warstomp. The headhunters have high damage, but low HP. If you aren't careful, your army could be punished. This build has a weak start, and the Tarn Chieftain by himself isn't very good. But the damage starts to escalate exponentially as the game goes on, and your army stays alive. This build plays the same way versus most matchups, and offers some flexibility with your tier 2 and tier 3 units. This build can be used in solo games, but it's more common in team games where the endurance are of the chieftain and bloodlust can boost your allies as well as yourself. That should be it for general info. Let's dive into the build. Put 5 peons into the gold mine and queue up non-stop peons from here on out. We will be constructing buildings as new peons come out, so we have all of our starting buildings. We'll be aiming to build a burrow, altar, war mill, then barracks, in that order. We then put all of our peons onto wood. As soon as the altar finishes, get the Tarn Chieftain. This is around the time you should get 40 wood, which means you should start your second burrow. At 18 supply, stop making peons. As soon as the barracks finishes, start your first headhunter. From here on out, you should produce non-stop headhunters. If everything goes well, your headhunter and your Tarn Chieftain should come out at the exact same time. This is around the time you should start your shop, because your Tarn Chieftain will need the healing cells to keep himself alive. Now this build can be altered slightly if you want two headhunters out by the time your TC comes out. To do this, the second peon that comes out should cut 10 wood, then build a war mill instead of an altar. Then the build order is altered to the following. Burrow, war mill, barracks, altar, and then your second burrow. An example of this variation could be seen on a recent video that Grubby put out. I'll put a link in the description so you can see it. Now on with the build. You'll want to start creeping immediately and have your Tarn Chieftain tank the hits. Keep in mind that your War Stomp costs a lot of mana. You should always have one reserved War Stomp use for if an enemy engages. Grubby can use a healing cell back at home, and then start your tier 2 upgrade. Your goal now will be to get your TC to level 3, so that he can cast level 2 War Stomp. Keep in mind that the most vulnerable time of the build is when you finish your second creep camp. For your hero abilities, you should focus on getting War Stomp and then Endurance Aura. While your main building is upgrading to tier 2, upgrade your ranged weapons at the War Mill. Keep in mind that you should always have healing selves on your Tarn Chieftain. Your hero does get low pretty often, and you'll probably need Clarity Potions so that you can keep his mana up too. As soon as Tier 2 finishes, go to Tier 3. You'll want the Headhunter upgrade as soon as possible. You'll be aiming to get a Shaman and his two upgrades as soon as you can. And your choice of either Kodos with a possible Wardrum upgrade, or Tarns with their Pulverize upgrade. You also have the choice at this point to get a Shadow Hunter, or keep your TC a solo hero. At this point, the build is done, and you are free to play the game as you please. If you want to stick around, I'll be going over some quick tips of how you can play this build effectively. Let's get to it. To play this build well, you'll want to use Warp Stop effectively. You want to hit as many units as you can. Try positioning your hero to do so. Cast Lightning Shield on your TC when he runs into a group to deal a lot more damage. Use your Kodo Beast to devour the high HP targets. You can chain your TC's War Stomp ability with the Shadow Hunter's Hex ability to keep a hero locked down to prevent any items or abilities to be used. Your Tarn Chieftain should be built like a tank. If you have leftover gold, spend it on armor rings or HP items or an orb of lightning. Use your Headhunter's Berserk ability as you head into a fight. 
it will greatly boost your damage. That's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. It really helps motivate me. If you want to build for a specific race, please leave a comment. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.